Garden Inventory, Part 3 for September 20th. And yeah, this kale. There's a little bit, but just it's small. Not enough, not enough time in the sun. Pumpkins that didn't sprout. The uh, ground ground nut didn't sprout. You can see the growth of these uh, this leguminous plant is not as good here as it is on the other side. It's so like that air that bed holds water way better than this one does. It's another because it's kind of sunk into the wall. It only slopes on one side. This slopes on both sides in a pretty narrow fashion. You know what, I'm thinking about moving dirt to against that wall. Taking out, I don't know, one of these. But I, you know, another thing I gotta do is bring the mulch level up. That's another thing I can do. I just thought of that, actually. If I bring that up, then this whole these beds will hold water better, I think. Because it just drops off. <clears throat> yeah. I should try to find... Just like... Bury the shit in chips. Get another... Pile of it out here. So this bed... Gets a decent... It's, it really gets a good shot of light over here. For about three hours early in the day here, but it'll be in the dark the rest of the day. I fashioned this little overhang for my defunct moped. When it was last year I was thinking about the possibility of getting chickens. In this place, this backyard would be great for it. Nothing's really going to grow anyways back here. But uh, I need to figure out how I would keep them in the winter. <laughs> Another possibility is to just get them in the fall or in the spring and slaughter them in, in the winter. I'll consider that. Here's my outdoor compost. I have some questionable dirt in there. Some dirt that may be lead poisoned and more that I mixed in there. So now I have to decide, like, am I going to spread this out there? I don't know if that's a good idea. So, this is a cantaloupe area. And this crop has potential here. I started it probably too late, but it did take off and it did produce some melons. Unfortunately, rats, mice, have gotten every one that gets just ripe enough and still, like, imagine eating that, that's disgusting. But that's the life of a rat. And here are some corns, and they haven't found these corns. These are uh, pretty much hardened up now, these seeds. This is ready to harvest, and you can see the size. It's a little guy. But I was, it was kind of cool to, you know, yeah, that's not bad. That's something you can produce at a legitimate amount. I sowed them pretty th thickly, and I could have sowed them even more thickly, I think. Had some carrots back here. Yeah, didn't didn't really go. Let's take this one out. Little little guy. Eh, it's not bad. Oh, this is a uh, like a jumbo orange one over here. It's a decent little carrot, but that was the best of the bunch. You can see that maybe like I'll maybe get like six others like that. 
and this cabbage is much smaller than the stuff I have on the other side of the house. And uh, it looks alright.